All right, in this video we're going to go through the ratchet wheel drawing. So for this drawing, it's very circular oriented. Uh, we're going to go through doing some patterns or arrays. Uh, we'll go through um, some more polar coordinate drawing and a couple other things like that. So to start with this drawing, I'm going to draw the outside diameter of the whole hub so I can fit that whole thing in my view because it's quite a bit bigger than a lot of the other things we've drawn. So first things first, go to the circle command and I'm just going to pick somewhere in model space. I'm not really concerned with where this is placed. And I'm going to type D for diameter and put in 152. And if you notice, it doesn't look like I did anything, but it's because the circle that I drew is bigger than the viewing area currently in my model space. So I'm going to hit cancel a couple of times to make sure I'm out of my uh, command, or hit escape a couple of times, I'm sorry, and type in zoom, enter, and then I'm going to type A. And what A does is it fits the entire contents of the drawing into the viewport. So I'm going to move my circle because I don't really want my coordinate system to be in there. And to do that, we haven't talked about move yet, I'm going to type in M, hit enter, and it's going to ask me to specify the entities. So I'll select my circle and hit enter. And then it'll ask me for a from point. And the from point can be really anywhere. It can be in the quadrants of the circle. It could be a point somewhere in space. But I like moving circles, especially from their center point. So I'm just going to stick it up here so it's a little nicer to work on. And then from here out, I will be working radially out from the, the center circle outwards. So the first circle that we'll draw is the 19 millimeter uh, bore diameter that has this keyway, but we'll draw the keyway later. And then the second one is the 38 millimeter hub. So first I'm going to type in C and select the center point of my original circle and type in D for diameter, 19. And then I'm going to hit enter again to start the circle command over. Select my center point again. And then D for diameter. And then 38. And then working outwards, uh, the next radius out is this 82 millimeter radius. And this is uh, a circle to orient the center points of the hub circles. So we'll put that in. Circle command, center point, diameter, 82. And then the last circle we have to worry about is this 127 millimeter for the outer diameter. So then, circle, center point, D for diameter, and then 127. All right, now we have our circles. All right, so the first real piece of geometry that we have is uh, this original circle here. Um, we'll start with that circle for a couple of reasons. One, we can put an infinite line in the drawing and get the uh, orientation of this circle, of this starting tooth, and um, we also have an infinite line to draw our keyway off of. So let's put that in. And we'll also note that these circles are 25 millimeters. So my infinite line. My circle, since I know my center point now. Diameter, 25. And while I have this infinite line here, I'm also going to draw my first tooth. And um, we'll wait for the teeth for just a minute. But I will go ahead and do my offset for my keyway. 
So my QA is on the top of this inside diameter here. And that's not where we wanted it. I wanted it here. Delete that line. And if we look back at the keyway, it's 4.76 by 2.38. And as luck would have it, 4.76 divided by 2 is 2.38. So we only have to do the offset command once. So we'll type in offset, enter. 2.38 for the distance and we'll offset on the left side of the line the right side of the line and up the top side and then since we have a lot of geometry in here now that we don't need we will go ahead and type start the trim command hit enter to get to the segments remove where we can just click the lines and it will delete line segments based on intersection points and we'll get rid of the line and circle segments that we don't need anymore and we'll zoom out and we'll get rid of all those lines so here we can put in all of the circles outside here. So these circles are 60 degrees apart and if you notice nowhere in the drawing does it come out and specifically say that these circles are oriented 60 degrees apart from each other but it does give us some dimensions that we can infer that from. So to start we'll look at this dimension here. So this tooth is 90 degrees from here and that doesn't really come into play quite yet but it is 15 degrees apart this line and this line is 15 degrees apart so we know that this line and this line are 15 degrees apart and 15 degrees plus 15 degrees is 30 degrees this line is intersecting the center line of this triangle or this circle I'm sorry and then this center line is intersecting this center line of this circle so we know that this one is 30 degrees as well because it's two teeth apart. So 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 60 degrees. And then we have six circles here. So instead of wasting a whole bunch of time trying to figure out all those angles and drawing all those circles, what we'll do is we will go into the modify menu to pattern and we will do a circular pattern. So the radio button for circular in mine is already checked. If it's not in yours, go ahead and check it now. And then it'll ask me to select entities. So I'll type, click the select entities button, click my circle, and then hit enter and that'll bring my pattern box back. And then I will type in 60 for my angle between and my number of entities that I need to end up with is 6 so we'll go ahead and leave that at 6 and then it's going to ask me for my axis point so the axis point is going to be the point that the pattern revolves around so then we'll type we'll click the preview button all of my circles are showing up and I highlight them their center points are landing on the circle so that looks good so I'll just hit enter and that will lock the pattern in and leave that good to go so then for our teeth the easier ways to do this will be to do a horizontal construction line or infinite line and then we'll start a line that's just a line segment from the center point of that circle and if we go back to the drawing you'll notice that this gives us a dimension to this line but this line's an angle here 
And instead of spending some time trying to figure out what that angle is or anything like that, if we look at this line, this one's based off of a horizontal line here. So we know 90 degrees off horizontal is 90 degrees. So that will be a lot easier to figure out. So let's put in a negative 15 degree angle here. And we'll do that using polar coordinates. So we'll type in at, and I'll just give it a number bigger than I need. 100 degrees or 100 inch, 100 millimeters will work fine. Less than to indicate we're doing an angle, and then negative 15. And now we have a line segment. Start the line segment command again, and start from our intersection there. And we'll just draw a segment coming up to meet with this. Now, for some reason, that line didn't actually connect with my horizontal line so I'll use the extend command right here and just like the trim command I can give it boundary edges which would be this line or I can hit enter and just click the line and it will extend to the line that I want now I need to trim a couple things out so we'll start the trim command, hit enter twice. And now we just have the geometry for the tooth. We can go ahead and get rid of this line, get rid of this line. And now we're going to do a circular pattern one more time. So I'm going to use the blue box to highlight this by clicking up in the top left hand corner and dragging down into the left. And we'll just highlight the geometry for the tooth, modify, pattern, and if we look back at the drawing, there are one, two, three, four, five, six teeth in a quadrant. So there's 24 teeth spaced all the way around, and they're 15 degrees apart. So total number will be 24. 15 degrees apart. Click our axis point here. Click preview. Now we have teeth. Oh. If you look, we're not quite centered here. So we'll go back here. Preview again. We don't seem to be getting the actual center point. There we go. Hit enter. Click the outside circle to delete it, click that circle to delete it, and now we have our finished rancher wheel. Thanks guys!